I'm Nathan Tannenbaum. These are just some of the stories coming soon to a Las Vegas Review Journal near you. As we head into the 4th of July holiday weekend, a ceremony Thursday created 100 new American citizens from 34 countries around the globe. Speaking of the holiday, if you're looking for a rundown of fireworks and other Independence Day events, including parades, we've got you covered with that special link near the top of the ReviewJournal.com homepage and in print. Well, we have a wrap-up in the Thursday neon section. By the way, the Clark County Department of Air Quality and Environmental Management has issued a smoke and ozone advisory for the holiday weekend, basically a heads up on the potential for iffy air quality from fireworks and high heat. And they are talking fireworks in the Friday Review Journal business section as in sales so far amounting to a sparkler that doesn't sparkle after you light it. In other words, a dud. Check for Benjamin Spillman's article on how sales of lots of things are down in this tough economy. Also in the business section Friday, reporter Arnold M. Knightley has the story of one honked-off poker player. Johnny Chan, a ten-time gold bracelet winner, is not happy with Harris, the owner of the tournament, going off on player perks or the lack thereof and how the hosts are taking a piece of the player's pot. It's in print and online. Toddlers drowning in swimming pools. Tragedies that unfortunately repeat themselves every year. Metro police pleaded again Thursday for families to never let kids in pools by themselves. It is neglectful not to pay attention to your children. We don't know how many times we can say this. Starting in January of this year, we have been working with the school district. We've been working with the hospitals. We've been working with daycare centers. We have partnered, as we do on many items, with our friends in the media, our partners in the media. We have driven this point home excessively, and people are still not paying attention to their children. And this is the result. Once again, the most frustrating part of this is that every one of these deaths is preventable. There have been at least two drownings in the Las Vegas area in the past seven days. A downtown Las Vegas announcement Thursday afternoon featuring Senator Harry Reid, the United States Secretary of Transportation, all about how people get from here to there and back again. Look for the details of what was being touted as a major announcement from our road warrior Francis McCabe. And it's finally, finally Friday. Oh, we've talked all week about the tons of cool things going on over the holiday week, and now it's all in one convenient package, as always, in our weekly neon section. This week featuring the multi-talented Jamie Foxx on the cover. Read all about his upcoming shows here, as well as the complete doing and dining guide. The holiday weekend weather forecast starts with the last of our current round of chances for more widely scattered, isolated thunderstorms popping up through parts of southern Nevada. Some neighborhoods got sprinkled on Thursday. The high stayed only in the 90s. But high temps will not only be back around 100. Look for the 105 range by Sunday with a mix of sun and clouds and staying dry. Overnight lows hovering in the low to mid 80s. For breaking news 24-7, you're at the right spot. ReviewJournal.com.